Hey everybody, welcome, welcome along to the ride along. Thank you for joining in. Appreciate each and every one of you. And today it's 12 o'clock start Sunday, last day of the month. And the directive is going to be take all orders from Tony. Not that nice today. Yesterday it was like 85 degrees. Today's probably like 60 in the 60s. <laughs> Traffic will be way down, which I like. It was just crazy yesterday, but we start off Honolulu Cafe here. It's like 8.75 for four miles. A little coffee action. Very rich neighborhood. This is a terrible order. Instructions for the restaurant to make the food, right? Instructions for me to get the delivery, right? Geez. Oh, I like coming to the data so soon because they'll probably call me back for a good one later. Data has all the good orders. Alright, this custard is awesome. Much better than the last. Appreciate you, thank you. It's 12.55, we got that one all delivered up. I, I, yeah, I like that customer way better than the Karen, the first Karen, but once again, only like half a block away, there's this Mesa Japanese, and then they paired up a, a Denny's. This one's six, and it was close, but the Denny's is four and a half miles for 750, so it's going out to the university. So they got me. Tony, you got me. Tony, you got me. It's not terrible. I mean, this time on a Sunday, this is what I expect, you know, this is what I expect. Maybe there'll be a banger or two in the afternoon, around between two and four. One of my regulars sometimes orders on Sunday, so I'm hoping for that. But this Mesa, this Mesa is interesting because I've been banned from this store. And now I'm back. Like, I got into a huge argument with them, like huge. Like, it was bad. It was bad. And I called support, and they banned me off their app. They banned me. I know they banned me off their app because it was bad. And, like, I was out of line, too, and they were out of, everyone was out of line. And I can admit I was out of line, but I haven't been here forever, but now I'm back. So they've reset me to come back here. So, And I'm trying to get back on with Cactus Club because I got banned out of Cactus Club for some unknown reason to me. Someone banned me from there that I don't know why they did it. Um, because I, I've been nothing but nice there. I'm mostly nice. I'm nice everywhere I go. But yeah, I did have an incident at this Mesa. And, they, and I'm pretty sure they banned me, but now I'm back. So I'm wondering if maybe they're going to allow me back on Cactus too. So... Cross my fingers because Cactus Club has a lot of really good orders. That would be amazing if that was the case, but we'll see. We'll see. But I shouldn't be getting an order for here, but I am. So maybe that's good luck, but we'll go pick this one up and then we'll grab the Denny and uh, we'll get them done and then hopefully bangers come. Well, they will later on. Yeah, this mess of Japanese. I shouldn't be getting an order from here. This is weird because I, I got into a huge argument because they made me wait 20 minutes. They were rude. I was rude. I can admit I was out of line, but uh, now I'm back for some odd reason. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully this means I'm back at Cactus Club too and they've reset something to let me back. That would be amazing, but uh, you know, we'll see, we'll see, because this is strange that I'm here. We go Denny's and an ambulance. But now we go Denny's. Denny. This is no tip. This is guaranteed no tip. All right, now I have to pick up DoorDash. It's busy in here today. Everyone loves a Denny's for breakfast. Rolls. All right, let's get these cheapskate orders out, you know? I can't really do much about people not tipping. And uh, Tony's going to lean on me a little bit here. So. Alrighty. So we'll get this one delivered to the no tipper. The generous, generous, you know, super nice person, right? Karen, caring and nice and awesome. <laughs> right, we got Kung Fu Noodle House. And, uh, 
It's Fadala. Tony's leaning on me hard, leaning on me hard. So we gotta get this no tipper. We'll get this person their bag of bad karma. <laughs> oh boy. So I think it'll get a little better as the day goes on, you know? But uh, we gotta get this one, you know? Kung Fu Noodle House, $4. I mean, whoa, why would you tip your driver? I think, I, well, I had the one, the $5 tip, and the rest have all been bad. So we'll see how, it always averages out. So we'll see how she goes, but Tony's leaning on me right now. So I won't lean on me a bit. See what happens next. 20 minutes between orders, I finally got one cozy in. 675. It's gonna have a two dollar tip and uh, one item. It's just a breakfast and uh, it's been denied a few times, so I expect it to be ready. Oh, I don't see it. Not too far. Two dollar tip. I'm pretty happy with it. But yeah, the GPS. I'm not trusting it anymore. I'm done with the GPS. I'm done with it. Enough is enough. I'm smarter than the GPS anyways. Zoom time! Beauty! It's 2.43 now. I'm in the, uh, I'm down in the underground parking waiting for the uh, grocery pickup. There's been no orders for basically the last hour. Well, I got that one cozy in. That's what there's been for the last hour since 2. So 45 minutes, I got one order. Now, this one's really good. $14 plus grocery pickup. I don't know the amount of items because they don't tell you here. Because if they told you, you probably wouldn't pick them up. It would, if you saw a bunch of items, you know. So I have no idea what I'm getting. But I know the customer is generous because they threw down a tip. At least five bucks. I mean, if you throw me five bucks, I'll pick up your groceries gladly. And it's to uh, an apartment. But it's on the ground floor. I don't have to buzz. I can just like go in a gate and just like put it on his patio. So this is a nice easy one. Considerate customer. I think he threw me a fiver because it said 14 plus. But hopefully it starts to get a little busier now. Uh, nobody's been ordering them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no one's been ordering. But I mean hopefully the orders start to kick up. Oh, I want my regulars order. She usually orders around this time. So maybe when I get this one delivered, there's one waiting for me. Because DoorDash will hold her order for me if it comes. Because if they know I'm working, and they'll hold that order for me. But, uh, oh, I hope she orders. <laughs> if not, all right, around 4.30, 4, 4.30, it'll probably pick up on orders. Because I think people eat a little earlier on Sunday. So, uh, you know, some family orders. So hopefully start up around 4, 4.30, maybe 5 at the latest. But we got another couple hours to get through, 2.44 now. And, uh. Hey, I'll do a couple more grocery pickups if they're this good. This is a really good one. And it's only like 1.8 miles. It's close. The payout's really good. I don't anticipate, anticipate it being too much stuff just because it's probably a cool customer. He didn't order half the store. Um, probably like maybe two or three boxes, no problem. I'll easily get this one done. And uh, yeah, I'll have this. As long as they bring it down any minute, I'll have it done well before 3.30. Yeah, so so yeah I've taken every I've taken every order so far and I'm gonna take every order for the rest of the day so Tony whatever you want whatever the orders are you got it right now is the most painful period of the day anyways so I know dinner should be great or at least good <laughs> so there will be some good ones that I can get but uh, you know it's just oh they're cleaning up the carts it's keeping it nice and tidy I like that I like that so I'm the only one here. So they probably batched out all the, okay, yeah, it's only two small boxes. This is easy. Raindrops are dropping on my head. It's 10 after three and it's so slow. My regular's not ordering, she's not ordering. Oh no, maybe later, I don't know, I hope so. Probably not gonna order, but yeah, it's so slow. I'm in the middle of like this crazy hot spot where there's a ton of restaurants and I sat 10 minutes for an order. 10 minutes so you know there's nothing nothing happening at 308 or 310 or whatever three o'clock there's nothing happening so i did get a, a couple of bubble teas though from this tea place 675 it's about three and a half miles that's the best i can come up doordash is going to come up with right now for me tony i'm happy to do it i'm happy to take care of this for you um 
Hopefully the dinner rush is uh, is money. But that last order is really good. That really bumped up the totals. It was looking bleak before that one, but uh, that one really helped out a lot. And uh, well, you know, it is what it is. I can only take the orders that are there. I mean, it's all on the customers, right? So DoorDash is going to do what it's going to do, and the customers are going to do what they're going to do, and I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And let's go and get this. There we go. Mo, man, mano, mo mano. There we go. Mo mano tea i've been here before hopefully they have it a little early because i'm early follow the road they said there's a road they made it sound like i'm supposed to drive down a road <laughs> follow the road go to the back <laughs> back at the city market in the underground i'm happy so i sat probably 15 minutes between orders some guy was road raging on the way here like, do people realize how much of idiots they look like when they road rage? <laughs> do they really? Because like, you look like a fool when you're road raging. Oh uh, yeah, it's uh, it's slow, but I think uh, I think the slow times are coming to an end now. Hopefully, and there's a little bit of a rush for dinner. I'm just getting all little individual orders and then those grocery orders. This is another one little item. Nando's. Let's go on Nando. What tune we got here? Old school. Old school. Yeah, I don't like your dog. <laughs> just kidding. Enjoy your food. I got good parking. First good order came in. I got the big old parking back there. They ain't open on Sundays. Uh, we're looking at, uh, it said 9.50. Probably go up a little bit. It's really close. You know, they were holding it for me. DoorDash held that one for me. They wanted to give me a good one. <laughs> oh, I've had enough low to no tippers. So maybe that'll, they'll uh, hook me up now. I can only get what there is in the system, you know? So I don't blame DoorDash, I don't blame anybody. I don't even blame the customers. Whoever orders, orders, and whatever they tip, they tip. And uh, I'm just gonna take it and deal with it for the day. It's run time, go, go, go. Slippery, you gotta be careful. Now I gotta slow it down, this stuff's super slippery. 4.43 now. And uh, it waited a while, and then it came up with Pizzeria Buffalo, six items, great order. There's tons of parking around here, so no one's going out yet. So maybe it'll be a little, little later dinner. Maybe people are holding back today. I don't know. Maybe it means they're staying home and they're going to order big meals. But six items, Pizzeria Buffalo. It's an expensive order. Uh, I think I'm going to get like 23, 29. That's what I'm going to go. With. No, there's two dollars peak pay. 25, 29 is what I'm going to get on this because they tip very generously. Let's uh, let's go check in, I'm right here. I got the pole position. Here, pole position, I don't see the order out yet, but I'm gonna go check in a minute. The regulars are coming through, awesome. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. The most amazing thing just happened to me. Wow, I don't even know where to, well, I'll just, I'll just say it. So yeah, I was, know how I was talking earlier about that message of uh, Japanese and whatnot, and then I, I was banned from there, and now I'm not banned from there? Yeah, and I was right about Cactus Club. I just got called the Cactus Club, so they've unbanned me. I was banned for like a year for some unknown reason. So what happened was is I got fed up like a about a month or about two months ago. I got fed up one night when I was getting really bad orders, and there's always good orders at Cactus Club. It's a really good restaurant. It's like Earl's. It's like, it's like Earl's competition. So I got fed up because I was getting all these bad orders I just, and then I, I called support and I got the ball rolling on on making a complaint on why I was banned because I don't know why I was banned. It was some unknown reason. So I put the complaint in and I said I was banned for some weird nefarious reasons. So they started calling the store and calling the store and they really worked on my behalf to try to find out what was going on. The store wouldn't get back to them and let them know what was going on. So I and then they kept coming back to me uh, and, and emailing me letting me know. Yeah, they're not getting back to us, so uh, we're just waiting. 
So that was my last email. Now I come to work today. Like this has been going on for like a month of back and forth emails. So I come to work today. I don't, I'm not expecting anything. And now I'm unbanned. I'm unbanned. So someone behind the scenes has reset my account so that I can receive, I can receive orders from every restaurant now. Because I was banned from Mesa, which was totally legit. I deserved every bit of that. I, I was a jerk that day and, and they were bad too. And, and, you know, and I didn't live up to my end and I can take that. Right. And I was okay to be banned from there, but this Earl's, there was no reason. I'm nothing but smiles and happiness in there. <laughs> or not Earl's. I mean, this cactus club. Oh man. But I'm back on cactus club. This is amazing. This is amazing. And there's the order. There's the order to bring me back. Like that order is just crazy. <laughs> 10 items from here. That's like over 200, that's probably $250 bill. That's crazy. All right, so they brought me back with a bang. And uh, let's go. This is awesome. So if you ever if you ever need to get unbanned from a restaurant, you can get unbanned. You need to call support. You need to come up with a reason that they banned you. Like, I didn't know what it was. I said, I don't know what it was. It could be any, they didn't like the way I look. They didn't like something about me. I'm like, they didn't like the clothes I wear. They I have long hair. I'm like, maybe they didn't like my long hair. Maybe it was discrimination. So I came up with all these things that I didn't know. So they started looking into it for me. And now there's, they found out there was no actual reason for me to be banned. And now they got me back on. So you can get put back on if you've been banned. You just need to be patient and go through support. We got the cactus. Oh, oh yeah. I don't know where to park here. That's a loading zone. That's right. Because I haven't been getting a cactus in like a year. And then Earl's is right there on the other block. It's right there on that block. This is cactus. Their competition. This is awesome. <laughs> Look at this neighborhood. <laughs> There's like five houses on the whole block. <laughs> super, super top shelf. So, and you know what that means. Like, what an order to come back to. Like, DoorDash. Thank you so much for bringing me this order. <laughs> the last order. I mean, I... I I already do, but I kind of do. I do it be right around there. That was just awesome. What a neighborhood! So beautiful around there. Those houses are just so expensive. They're so rich, and they're very generous, which I really, really, really appreciate. But yeah, I just want to get back to talking about how I got unbanned. So how I did it was, is I you know, like I said, I got fed up. I was fed up when I, I called in, and I, was, you know, I just said I thought it was discrimination. I thought someone discriminated on me. For some unknown reason, I don't know what it was. Uh, I didn't know if maybe it was because of some way that I looked or something. So I put that out there and, uh, you know, it worked. <laughs> so you need to play that card in 2023, you know. Like, if you can play the discrimination card, do it. Because they ended up calling and putting a lot of effort into it and they kept contacting the restaurant. But the restaurant wouldn't get back to them because they didn't actually have a reason why they banned me. I think it was some rogue person who just didn't like the look of me or something. Something, something personal, I don't know. Some rogue server, some rogue manager, or something did it for some unknown reason. Because I've never been up, I've never, I've never done anything wrong in there. I've, I'm just nice. But, uh, but yeah, so they looked into it really hard because they, you know, that's serious stuff in 2023. So uh, they looked into it and they, uh, they concluded that uh, there was no reason for me to be banned. So. Boom, back on. And they just unbanned me from all the restaurants, I guess, for some reason. So that's how you do it. You just got to say, look, this was unfair. I think something nefarious was going on, and uh, you can get back on the apps. But now we got Minerva, Minerva, six items. Said take another picture of the bag. This one I'm thinking is going to be, you know, it's going to be nice. It's going to be a 2341 total. That's what I'm going to The rain always helps the orders. But I mean, yesterday we didn't have rain and the orders were good anyways. You know what helps the orders? Being able to get orders from Cactus Club. That helps the orders. Like that just, so many good orders come out of that place. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's huge, huge for me. There we go, Minerva. Beauty. It's a beauty. I just got to check in. <laughs> this was, I don't know, five blocks I would say from the store. Really, really close. And... I got nothing to say. When you see neighborhoods like this, you know, the tip is there.
I'm so chipper. I'm so chipper. Anything. I mean, these orders are great, but like I slugged through the afternoon. That Cactus Club was just the most amazing. Just the fact that I'm back on Cactus Club has just like got me on cloud nine because the amount of orders that I can get out of there is just amazing. Like it's just got everyone loves the Cactus Club. Everyone loves the Earls. Everyone loves the Cactus Club. I'd say Cactus Club's a little more popular. I personally like Earls better, but they're both really good. They're basically the same thing. Um, yeah, it's oh, I'm on cloud nine, but yeah. White spot, seven items. There's two. There's two uh, baby back ribs, so those are expensive. And a few other, few other items. It's looking really nice. I don't remember the parameters or anything. I just saw seven items. It's for Navi. I think Navi really hit the number. Oh, since 1928, we got white spot. Ugh, terrific order. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's starting to get busy now. The parking's getting taken. Scene dashers, scene orders. right by a busy road but these are my favorite deliveries this is do not ring the doorbell baby sleeping i love those instructions i can't even believe like i'm so happy just having cactus club i'm gonna rant on that forever but just, i'm so happy i'm just 638 we're not at cactus club or anything but it's a cereal foods 13 items i think i saw four desserts and a bunch of other stuff some pasta sauces and this and that but it's looking really good and uh i'm pretty sure they hit a percentage on it so let's roll in just a tiny little italian joint i don't even see the name anymore oh there it is the gps took me around the block so it didn't pin me to the right place, but I had to find it on my own, but I think I found it. Yeah, this looks like it. It had to be at that building there. It's this building here. And we're in the sketch zone. It's vibrating. It's shaking. It's making a lot of noise. It's small. This review is gonna have to go on forever because we're only on the 8th, 9th, 10th. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Kinda feeling like it's just going to drop to the bottom right now. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> um, 4.3, man. This is like scary zone. Okay. The atmosphere's okay, though. LPE 875. It's, it's five miles. It's not good. It's three items. It should have been good. Should have had a nice little tip on there, but you know, out at the university. We'll get her delivered, we're okay. We'll see what happens next. One more order, one more order, be good. I mean, if it goes silent, I won't do it, but I'll have to, I'll get scared and I'll end it. <laughs> what a day, what a day. So fired up, so fired up. Oh, four o'clock, I had made $79, now eight o'clock. The ending totals are just like off the charts. So DoorDash, you turned it around. You're awesome. I'm so pumped that I'm back on Cactus Club. I can't even believe it. Oh, support really pulled a solid for me. Oh, man. And yeah, I had to end it. I went through the gauntlet of restaurants. I got scared. It was 10 minutes. I passed through them all. Nothing came. And then, yeah, the last order I think I waited 20 minutes for, and it was bad. So you know what? Saturday, Sunday, 8 o'clock, the orders typically are done so i'm done for the night the numbers are great and i want you all to have a great day